Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn about free regular expression options that you can use to write better code. So regular expression, I have it right here. It matches free fruits, apple, orange, banana. And we can try this fruit match question mark. Then we pass string like apple. And of course, it's going to work. We get true. Now, what if I change some of these letters? For example, I make the E, I make it uppercase. Will this still match? No. We get false. Why? Because it's looking for apple like this, all lowercase, and not like this. So, of course, one thing you could do if you want that is to use don't case it, and then we match again. So, that's one option. But if that's not what you want to do, then another option is to use a modifier, a regular expression option, and this go at the end. So notice these forward slashes, right? This mark where this define where the regular expression starts and ends. And at the end is where you put the option, the regular expression options. So there is one option that's I, and the I option, what it does is enable the case insensitive mode. It enables case insensitive mode. Now, when I run the code again, now it's true. We have a match because now it's have a case insensitive match. So it doesn't matter how, how many characters are down case or up case or whatever. So that's the first option that I want to show you. Uh, that can be very useful if you want to do this kind of match. Now there are two more options that are also very useful. So let me go back to our lowercase string. I'm going to do something here with the regular expression. So what I'm doing is putting the regular expression in multiple lines. Now if I try to match this, you see that again we get false. We don't have a match anymore. Although we are looking for apples and Apple is lowercase and everything is not working. Why? Because when I change the regular expression to be like this with multiple lines, the regular expression engine is interpreting all of these spaces before the, the different components, the different words of the regular expression as something that needs to be matched. So how can we fix this? Well, here comes the second option, which is the X. So X, what it does is it ignores, it ignores these spaces. So if I run the code, you can see we again, we have true, we have a positive match. Why? Because when you use the X option, it enables this multi-line mode where you will ignore the spaces. So that's what it is for. And you can have as many spaces as you want. We could have a regular expression like this if you wanted. So it looks all fancy and it still works thanks to the X 
option. So that's second option. So we cover I for case insensitive and X for multi-line mode ignoring these extra spaces. Now there is one more option, which is also useful. Now let's say that we have a different kind of regular expression. Instead of looking for apple or orange, so it is or, or orange or banana, I want all of them in a sequence. And between them, I want anything. So in a regular expression, you say anything with a dot like this. So it is not a regular dot. It means it's like a wildcard character. And we can combine it with the asterisk. So we say that we want anything between apple and orange, but the order is going to be the same. The order is going to be the first apple, then orange and anything in between. And we are going to do the same with this one. So what is expecting is something like this. Apple, then orange, then banana. And this is also a match. What if there are new lines between this? So the new line character looks like this. Is slash n. So this is a special character that represents a new line. So if I want to match this, we get again false. We get false, not a match, because the dot matches anything but the new line character by default. You can change this behavior by adding one more option. And that's the M. So M enables the dot to match new lines. And notice gives us true and we have a match. And when you're using these three options, it spells out to be mixed if you order like this. So this one way you can remember this. If you remember mix, then these are the three options that you can use. M is for this mode where the dot we match new lines. Then I is for case insensitive and X is for the multi-line mode. And you can use them however you want. So you don't have to use M with the others. You can use M by itself if you want. Of course, that means that this is not going to match. That's it for this video. If you like it, click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. In there, we, you will find a lot of Ruby tutorials, and you will find my Ruby book, my newsletter, all of this to help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.